we have finished the neck edging for the hoodie and so now it's time to do the final step of tacking down the front so eventually we want it to look kind of like your classic hoodie with this one in front and this one in back so what we're gonna do is get a tapestry needle I am starting with the front one and you can tell it's a little bit it's the one that we picked up on top of the roll and then what we're gonna do is we're simultaneously gonna tack the edging together and sew it down so just to get situated I'm gonna kind of just fold it over so I can see what I'm doing like that and we're just gonna use a whip stitch so I want to stay in the same line of bumps as it's picked up on okay does that make sense right so my first bump here pick up and then go through both layers and just don't get anything else caught all right so that's in that bump next I'm going to go to this bump and same thing go through both the layers and it's just a classic whip stitch so around 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 all right if you forget where you just went you can always look okay so that one's coming through that so I'm gonna go here next and it doesn't need to come all the way here because that one will also be getting folded over so here we go go through all of the layers I'm gonna check how it's looking very cute okay probably our last one just gonna go here and I'm gonna go right along that final edge Oh, but first make sure you are having your needle threaded the goal is to just make sure it looks good all right so I want to just end it by Pulling the thread to the back and then I'm going to just weave in that oops sorry pull that thread to the back and then I'm just going to weave in this end like normal now for the second side I have threaded just the leftover from when I sewed around the edge I just find that easier but you can always use a new thread as well thread your tapestry needle and then this one is just going to get tacked down to this edge so still in line with where we picked up so it's gonna go like that just right behind the first one all right so let me just get adjusted here and same whip stitch so I'm just gonna go here and I'm just gonna go through that edge you're going through the same um, edge as you were picking up those stitches and making sure that we are still tacking this down so we want to go through all the layers and then through that edge
and I'm not trying to pull this too tight or anything. I'm just letting it sit as naturally as I can. All right, through all the layers and through that next edge. You can always just kind of check as you're going how it's looking. You also have, um, of course, agency in how you want the front neck to look. So let's say that we got it that much, but you actually want it to be more like this as opposed to like this, you can start sewing this edge anywhere you want. Like if you wanted to start tacking it over there, be my guest. So same thing. All right, so go all the way across and then you're gonna weave in that end just like you did for the other one.